Hey y'all, I'm Saint Ellie here, and welcome back to another episode of Super Mario RPG! In the last episode, we went through Land's End, and now we're pretty much at, well, the end of that. Uh, I guess we can fight you. Wait a second! Have I fought one of these yet? I don't think I fought one of these! Wait a second, I wasn't expecting to run into something new, question mark? Unless my memory is just failing me. Anyway, uh, I wanted to be just a normal well. <laughs> That's actually so sad. That is actually, like, so sad. Um, anyway, it's fine. We're, we're gonna just, uh, you know, mosey on along and do our own thing, I guess. Um, but yeah, we're pretty much at the end of Land's End. Uh, we're gonna take out these guys pretty quickly. They are not a super huge deal. Ow, that did 10 points of damage. Let's just take out the last three all at once. Or you can just stay alive, that's fine. I feel really bad for that plant. <laughs> you just want to be nice and pretty and a normal flower. Sorry. You are a normal plant no matter what form you take. Even though you're dead now. Anyway, we're going to hit this for a star and get a bunch of level ups right in a row. Uh, don't worry if you miss one or two, because back here, go down here, we're gonna hit Lizard Land! Okay, I didn't get that last one, but I did get a few of them, so that's fine. Gino reached level... wait, was it 16? I didn't even look. Um... 6 HP is a pretty big deal, so I'm gonna do that. Uh, oh yeah, it's all 16. Okay, uh, 3 HP... Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go for this. So we got two level ups. One for Gino, one for Bowser. And now, heading in here, we are in Balome Temple. I didn't know that these could spawn. Huh, okay. Welcome to Balome Temple. We remember Balome, right? That was the lion dog thing that ate our party members early in the game, so... This is where he lives, I guess. If you want to retreat, you can for 100 coins. I'm frugal. I'm not going to do that. And also, I don't really need to. This is where I want to be. Uh, and we can talk to this dude. Do you want your fortune told? It'll cost 50 coins. <laughs> no, I don't. Well, uh, very conveniently, we have 50 coins right here. They literally pay you to do this at least once. Not that it would really dent my money anyway, because I am filthy rich, baby! Do you want your fortune total? It'll cost 50 coins. Sure do. So depending on what you hit or what order you hit these faces in, you will get a different prize for each. Uh, some of the results are bad. Some of them are good. You won't know unless you either do it or you can be like me and look it up. Uh, there we go. <laughs> So you can, you can be like me and just look it up. It, it's it, And I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys what it is right here. Uh, if you proceed through the pipe next door, some tasty snacks are awaiting you in the future. So, uh, yeah, you can either fight some enemies, get some loot or some money or a frog coin. I wanted, uh, if you are if you already read it, you already know what we're getting. Uh, there we go. We got a Yoshi cookie because that feels like the most rare thing and it's kind of the most out of the way thing that we could get. Uh, we have a way to get out and uh, the way is open for us. Uh, there's a hidden treasure nearby. Give me money. Loot goblin, loot goblin, loot goblin. Okay, it's done. I'm very sad that it's done. Uh, I think the hidden treasure is here. Sure is. And there is one more here. Uh, I have to remember where this is. Two frog coins. Okay. Uh, three frog coins. Okay. You know what? That's fine. I'm good with it. The yellow tile will get you to the next room. Your fortune determines which room you'll arrive at. If you're lucky, you'll run into Balome. And Montreal Town will be just beyond him. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not accepting visitors past my bedtime. Well, um, clearly our luck has run out a bit. <laughs> that doesn't sound very positive to me, so we're going to check out what we have. Give me the key, and I will let you pass through. I don't have the key. No key. 
No key in sight. Um, but this is a treasure room. We, we see some flower, some flowers there, some frog coins, and some other miscellaneous things. Uh, but we can't do anything with it right now. We haven't gotten a key. It's no big deal. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to restart. Let me restart because uh, I need to get through. Please give me the right one. God, why? Why? But why, though? Hello? Hello? This is a 50-50 shot. Come on. Mm, I'm so hungry. I wish I had something to eat. Okay, there we go. Goodness gracious. What's it called? Like, gambler's fallacy? You just, like, keep hitting it. And it's just like, surely this time, even though it's 50-50 every single time. All right. Down the pipe. Guess who it is? Still hungry as ever, aren't you, boy? Aren't you? What, what's my FP looking like? 30? Mm. Yeah, you know what? I'll use a flower jar. Why not? I have so many flower things. Mmm, you look so tasty. I think I'll just have a snack. Lick it. Oh, watch what you're licking, Balome. Excuse me? Um, um, excuse me. I, that is a uh, no bueno, my sir. Do not. Let me just peek into what you are thinking right there. All right. Never mind. I missed the timing. Oh, never mind. I didn't. I'm also happiest when I'm eating. You know what? That's a mood. <laughs> that is absolutely a mood. I get that. You know what? Maybe you're all right. I'm fine with it. Actually, I'm not. But, dude, I am also happiest when I'm eating. Aw. Was it fear that he was weak to? I, like, thought peaked him, and I get so excited about the actual thought that I never actually look at the weaknesses. It's probably not a great strat. Um, you know what? I'm gonna do a triple move. Clown car barrage. Uh, sure. We'll do this. Blast him to smithereens. Since, you know, we can. Blech. Two thirty-six, not bad. Good, a good start. Ah, uh, so I do remember though that he is weak to shocker. Did I do it? I did it. Ah, uh, boop. Uh, I think he's probably gonna go down pretty quickly. I never forget a taste. In fact. After just one slurp, I can clone someone! Watch! You all look delicious! But how do you taste? Rude! Rude! Ah! Sour! Blech. So, uh, Mario is sour candy. That's very rude. I hate that. I hate it. So we have a Mario clone. Um, I kind of wonder if we thought peak this. Uh... But Mario is not having it. Uh, no weaknesses. No thoughts. Head empty. Alright. <laughs> One damage! Hi? Hello? Um... I mean, that's fine, I guess. I guess I can super jump him. Hey! Not bad. It's pretty good for me, anyway. <laughs> That's actually a hefty amount of damage. I definitely didn't get that. Yep. Oh no, not again! I'm starving! Time to go home for dinner. I thought you were home. Goodbye, boys and girls! Is, is this not home? Is this, is this not home, my dude? I don't, I don't know what to think about that. Aw, uh, and it's Peach! Uh, wow, that's 9 HP for her. Oh, as tempted as I am to just pump magic right now, 9 HP is nothing to sneeze at for a single level up. That's pretty awesome. Well, uh, we get to open this door. And we already know what's beyond here, right? It's Mr. Mouse! Oh, hello again. That pipe is a shortcut to my home, Monstro Town. 
I'll see you there. Yo, I like Mr. Mouse. Mr. Mouse is so cool. He's been helping us out this entire time, and he's he's just been real chill. Real chill, Mr. Mouse, and I am about it. Anyway, welcome to my favorite town in the game, Monstro Town. For one, this song just makes me feel a certain way. I don't know what it is, but it's just like such a, it's such a bop. In, in such a weird, whimsical way, it almost reminds me of Banjo-Kazooie a little bit. Like, I know Banjo-Kazooie came out, like, after this, but it definitely does give me that sort of vibe. Uh, oh my, a traveler from afar. Welcome to Monstro Town, where many monsters mingle. I'm the landlady, Monster Mama. Mama! Star, you say? Oh, you're here to see our star. She's upstairs, so feel free to go and take a look for yourself. Airflow setting. Breeze. Airflow setting. Gust. Airflow setting. Blast. Oh, he, he's really going at it, isn't he? Uh, okay. Well, I'm just gonna leave him on blast for a little bit. <laughs> Put that fan on blast! I've been all around the world. It's a friend, but in the and the strangest person I met is this old geezer in Rose Town. He really is re weird, but definitely worth seeing. Sometimes, if you jump at the right places, a treasure box will pop out of thin air. Anything like this happen to you? These treasure boxes are known as hidden treasures because they appear out of nowhere. I think you found them all, but you still have 10 hidden treasures left. So yeah, if you want to check if you've been doing well on your hunt, uh, this is where to check it. You just talk to him and he tells you how many you have left to find. Without a guide, that's hell. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. That is absolute hell without a guide. But uh, it, it, like, it, it's, it's still there. It's still helpful. So we do have a star. It's not really the star that we needed slash wanted. It's just a dude. <laughs> but uh, we all know, right, what this is supposed to be. Yeah, we're supposed to go back to tadpole land and not uh, and uh, insert that that jingle for Tadovsky. But we'll do that another time. So what do you think? Isn't our star adorable? She's so talented, too. Folks come to see her from afar. No! This star! Starbies? Oh, Starbies! No, nope, not familiar with them. So you came all the way out here to search for a star piece. And it must be really important. This is the last place on land. You, If you can't find it here, the only place left is up. Hmm. So, you want to go there? Ha! You're an open book. Okay, here's what you need to do. There's a secret passage to the sky at Bean Valley. But first, you must scale the cliff beyond the desert to get there. Yeah, remember the cliff that we went by? Yeah, that's, that's what they're referring to. Since you're such a nice guy, I'll introduce you to someone that can help you. True boss, I need you. Oh, uh, did you come through the door? Or did you come through the wall? This poor lady's wall, dude. Oh, <laughs> what was flying? What was our flying time, troops? 8.52 seconds, Sergeant. Wait, was it actually 8.52 seconds? That'd be kind of funny if it was. Fire troopers reporting for duty, ma'am. Uh, 0.52 seconds late. I hold myself personally accountable for the delay, ma'am. Still as rigid as ever about your rules and regulations. No need to bother with the protocol around me, Sergeant. I've got a favor to ask of you. Yes, ma'am. Anything we can do for a civilian. This fellow here really wants to get to Bean Valley. Could you help him scale the cliff? Understood, ma'am. The orders are, get mustache over the cliff, and we will succeed. 
Oh, we will. We will now deploy ourselves to the cliff at land's end. Air troopers, keep a tight formation. We have lift off. They're gonna rush all the way over there, and I'm gonna take my sweet time getting there. Not odd, but trustworthy. Good luck with your search. I love you. I, I love you. Mama. <laughs> Mama, please. So, uh, we could... Mm, I see that up there. Uh, we could explore this town a little bit more. But you know what? I think since we are just getting started, since we have our way pointed out to us, I'm going to save that for next time. But uh, that means Tadpole Pond is getting bumped up a smidge. We wander inside. We head over here. And we get that melody that was just played in our ear out on these tadpoles. There we go, I did it. Man, I forgot to actually, like, take note of the note behind the stars, so I had to look up a picture of it. So this is... <laughs> uh, that That's the order that you want to do it in. That's it! This is the melody I've been looking for. Thank you for the inspiration. Please take this as a token of my gratitude. So now we have the soprano so uh, car. Finally, my song is nearly complete, but I must confess that you contributed a lot to it. We can all take credit for it. Now you must think of a final phrase that will wrap it all up. Let your creative juices flow and show me what you got. So now we just freestyle, but I'm like, not exactly great about that. So, you know, we're just gonna... I'm just, I'm just, I'm just putting down random things and we're gonna find out how it sounds together. It doesn't look good right now, but whatever. Okay, you know what? That's fine. Listen to this, it's our song! Wow, I'm pretty sure I didn't write that last part, but you know what? It's fine. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So what do you think? Oh, yeah. No, 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 never mind. Never mind. It was good. Well, be that way. Excuse me. I'm just, I'm just trying to mosey, my dude. I'm living my life. So anyway, uh, the main thing is that we have our Soprano card now. I'm very excited. We come over here and take a peek. May I help you? Oh, Soprano card holder, what can I get you? We got a wow, y'all. We got a wow. So we can buy a Croca Cola, which we've been finding a bunch of, but I mean, Croca Cola is, uh, is gonna come in handy at some point or another down the line. Ha ha! Um, and we will have bunches and bunches of money, so we probably will be able to max out our inventory at some point or another. So yeah, this is our our menu. Full heal for party, 150 per party, 80 per party, and 30 for party. And honestly, uh, I think right now the sweet spot is probably gonna be this frog leg cola because that's only 24. We could just buy a bunch and it's really not going to affect our wallet hardly at all. Look at that, we're, we're freaking rich, my dude. Uh, and yeah, this is our frog coin em emporium, but I'm waiting for, you know, my true prize over in Seaside, whatever, what, whatever, the Seaside town or whatever. Uh, but with that, we're gonna go ahead and wrap things up here. We got to Monstro Town, we took a small peek in the first door, got our Soprano card, and next time, we're gonna be back in Monstro Town to explore a little bit more. I'll see you guys then. Cinella out.